Take me out for some hot dogs. Another fine sunset here in Arizona, the Arizona desert, Tucson. You know, I was here last year and I tried El Guerrero Canelo. And they have the Sonoran dog. They're like known for the Sonoran dog. The Sonoran dog is the official do hot dog of Arizona. And it's named after the Mexican uh, state that's underneath Arizona, that borders Arizona. And it's got a unique set of, they threw a lot of shit on it, let me tell you, say it that way. And I was pleasantly surprised last year. But, El Can uh, the Guerrero Canelo has a big rival. It's called BK Carne Asada and Taco. Now they have two locations in Tucson. Started out as a food truck in 1994. And on uh, Food Network Battles, they actually beat El Guerrero Canelo in a head-to-head -head battle on the Food Network. Well, I'm gonna be a, a judge this. See if these hot dogs are worthy of tank as we're back in Tucson on a beautiful Arizona desert sunset. And we're raw dogging. Obviously, they leave a lot of space for the ingredients for the snoring dog. That light's been acting uh, gazy. Anyway, they're uh, made with this fresh bakery, Mexican style bread, and uh, they baked the hot dogs are bacon wrapped, but uh, bun to dog ratio, no bueno. So. Uh, Let's see how this hot dog is. Uh, it's got a lot to overcome. Very ordinary. pepper here. You're supposed to eat and put on top of it. Um, I remember El, 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 El Guerrero Canelo overcame a lot to get a good score. The bun doesn't feel as warm as El Guerrero Canelo. The hot dog is too small. Norton go to El Guerrero Canelo. These are definitely not good. I mean, you don't taste the hot dog. There's too much stuff on here. The El Guerrero Canelo hot dogs were plumper, bigger, more taste. And where is this? Is just a mess. And the bun was much better there, too. Now, here's something they call a Tortito. It's a plump yellow pepper stuffed with creamy milk and cheese, savory ham, and it's wrapped in crispy bacon. It's something different. 
not something I would necessarily go out and eat, but I'll give it a 6.8. Look at this hot dog. This hot dog sticks out both ends of the bun. It obviously represents the snoring dog with the crap, the mayo, which I didn't get on there. The hot dog I had tonight did not look anything like this. You know, if it looked like this, I probably would have given it a better score. Shame. Shame. But you can't pass off a tiny hot dog like that. No, you can't. But if you know it a better place, leave a comment down below. Because you never know what I'm going to show. So keep raw dogging and click like and subscribe and I'll see you down the road. Let's go. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs>